cooking with Nanny Freddy, hashtag Bogan Cooking. Tonight we're going to cook a nice little Greek inspired, maybe a little bit of Italian in there too, meatball. Um, it's a lovely meatball, it's stuffed with feta cheese, it's wrapped in zucchini and it's cooked in the oven in a nice tomato basil sauce. I've already sliced my zucchini thinly and char grilled it. Got some little grill lines on there, it's nice and soft so we can roll it around. Um, if you don't have a char grill pan, that's okay. You can do it on a flat pan. Just, just want to cook it so it's soft and easy to manipulate later. Okay, so in this bowl, I have some pork and veal mince. You can use lamb mince, pork mince, just veal mince, whatever mince you like. Um, I'm going to add in a chopped onion and two crushed cloves of garlic. meatballs nice just get your hands in there get your hands dirty squeeze it all through make sure that it's all mixed through and some flavor in all of them they've got some lovely salt and pepper Okay, that's nice and holding together. So I'm just gonna wash my hands. <laughs> so I've got some cubed feta here. So what I do is I get like a small handful of the meatball put a little fingerprint in it, grab a chunk of feta, meatball around. I make them in a little hand grenade shape, not round, on the plate. So same again, put a little hole in there, little bit of feta, roll it around, hand grenade shape. So I'll keep rolling these up and then we'll come back. Okay hey guys, so I finished rolling my meatballs. Um, before I finish them off, I just get my sauce started. So I've got my pan here. I'll turn it on. And it's very simple. It's a jar of passata, which is just tomato sauce. tin of tomatoes or mine are in a little packet but they're crushed tomatoes a couple of spoons of tomato paste and some basil this is my fresh basil I think that it's going to need more basil flavor so I have a backup because my basil tree has been depleted lately. So I just have some dry, fresh basil. So we'll use that if we need the flavor, but just give that a stir, just let that tick away nicely, just on a simmer. We'll taste it soon. So that's basically the sauce. We'll come back and we'll taste that. As my sauce has been cooking away nicely for a while now, we'll just give it a little taste. sweetness in there so I've just got some brown sugar just a spoonful to stir in and I like a little bit more basil flavor so I'm just going to use a little bit of this dry basil I have Lovely. 
way better. So now we put it all together. Okay, guys, I've um, transferred my little meatballs, finished rolling them in the zucchini. So they're in a little baking dish here. My sauce is good. So what we simply do is pour the sauce on the meatballs and pop in the preheated oven 180 for about 25 to 30 minutes till the meatballs are cooked through. And then we'll come back and serve. So simply, in we go. I'm a bit messy today, but that's all right. Some lovely sauce in there. and in the oven. Hey guys, so that's been in the oven for about 25, 30 minutes. So we'll grab her out and we'll have a look. Oh, it's hot in there, my glasses fog up. Overfilled it a little bit so it's a little bit messy but looks beautiful. Simply grab a plate. Grab a meatball. Grab two meatballs. And this lovely sauce, it's got all the cheese through it. What I like to do is just a little bit of extra crumbled feta and basil. And I like to serve that with some crusty bread. So that is Nanny Frenny's stuffed meatballs with feta, tomato basil sauce and crusty bread. Thanks for watching guys. Hashtag Bogan Cooking.